Good morning children. In yesterday's session, we have learned the process of inhalation and exhalation. Let's understand it through this experiment. For this, we need a bell jar, balloons, U-tubes and a rubber sheet which acts as a diaphragm. When the sheet which is attached at the bottom of the jar is pulled up, the air from the balloons is pushed out. As the volume of air decreases, the pressure increases and air moves from an area of low pressure area to an area of high pressure. And when the sheet is pulled down, the volume of the cavity increases. Thus, causes the pressure to fall and the air rushes in to fill the balloons. We can measure the volume of air we exhale in a single breath through this experiment. Make a measuring cylinder with a 2 liter plastic bottle. Now fill the bottle to the brim and invert it in a bucket or a large container of water. But remember, no air bubble should remain in the bottle after you invert it. Insert one end of a rubber tube into the mouth of the bottle under water. Hold the other end of the tube in your hand. Inhale as much air as you can and blow the air into the measuring cylinder through the rubber tube. Don't breathe in air while blowing the air out. Blow out as much air as you can in a single breath. This air will collect in the measuring cylinder. As a result, the water level in the cylinder will fall. The reduction in the water level is equal to the air you breathe. Do you know children, there is a difference in the air we breathe in and we breathe out. The air that we take in or that we inhale is cooler than the air that we breathe out. That is exhaled air is warmer. The air that we breathe out also contains moisture. Blow air on the mirror. Do you find anything on the mirror? Yes, we see some moisture on the mirror. Where did it come from? Yes, the air that we have blown out is not only warm but also contains moisture. The gases in our breath. The air that we breathe in does not contain only oxygen. It is a mixture of many gases. Similarly, the air that we breathe out does not contain only carbon dioxide, but a mixture of many gases. When the air is inhaled, lungs take the oxygen and give out the other gases. The amount of carbon dioxide given out is more as compared to the amount of carbon dioxide taken in. To prove this, we can do an experiment. Take lime water in a test tube. Insert two tubes in the cock fixed to the mouth of the test tube, as it is shown in this figure. First, breathe in through the tube, that is take in air. You will find no change in the lime water. Next, blow out air through your mouth in the test tube. What do you think will happen now? When we have blown in the air, there was no change in the lime water. But when we blow out the air from our mouth into the lime water, we find that the lime water turns milky. Why do you think the lime water turns milky? As we have already learned in our previous lessons, that the lime water turns milky in the presence of carbon dioxide. That means the air that we have breathed out contain more of carbon dioxide. That is why the lime water turned milky. With this, we end with the session today. We will continue in our next session. Thank you.